Yo, what's up guys? So, um, yeah, today uh, I'm going to show you how to replace uh, your silicone in your guitar controller. So, uh, I'm going to be using this one, so I'm going to show you all the steps um, and where to buy them. So, um, yeah, I actually have these produced myself and um, the generic ones uh, both, you know, both of them are made from the same um, mold. Uh, the difference is that the top one here has uh, four-way cutouts. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, it has four-way cutouts. And basically, you know, this is a pre-modded one, so it's extremely easy to press. But uh, yeah, first of all, I'm going to show you how to uh, disassemble the guitar. So you need to take this uh, spring-loaded latch thingy here, pull it back, and then you pull this out. Now you can put this to the side. Okay, then you're going to need two tools. So you will need a Torx P10 uh, screwdriver and a Phillips head or star head screwdriver. All right, uh, first of all, you're gonna have 12, 12 uh, Torx T10 screws. For me, it's only two of them because I have already opened mine before. And I usually only put these two back in because those are the ones that really matter. So, take this piece off. Put it right there. Now, you want to take these two screws and unscrew those. So these hold down the fret pad, like PCB. So yeah, which is re responsible for you know the inputs. So take this. You know you can actually take this whole thing, lift it out, put it there. Now you take this. Uh, as you can see, this is like a brand new silicone, um, but let's pretend that it's completely broken or that you've had it cut and that it's broken or something. <laughs> um, and uh, let's just put that to the side right there. And then we will take either this generic, um, which is like it's just a generic silicone. This is the same. Um, the same ones you'd see in like uh, the third party controllers you can buy today. Or you would get this uh, pre modded one, which is what I would recommend. Um, this is what I would use. Like, it requires no force to push these buttons, <laughs> to push the silicone down. So you don't have to break these in. That's the good thing. Uh, it's already like cut in a way where it's broken in. So just take them. And put the silicone on, on here. Lift the guitar up when you do this, by the way. Because if you have it down like this, then these are like in the up position. If you do this, they fall down. It's easier to place your silicone. And then you just kind of feel the silicone. Does it move? No. So take the PCB and, oops, damn it. There we go. And then you just make sure that it's all in the right place. Hold the PCB like this, and then you just uh, manually start screwing these in, like by hand, obviously. Uh, I find that easier. So like that, and then. the rest with the Phillips head. So, oh man, I have no idea what I'm doing. I keep slipping. Okay, so yeah, you just screw them back in and then you put this little PCB here into the innermost slot. Innermost this way, so 
put the ribbon cables down on each side like that. And then okay, put it back together. That's it. Now all I want to do is take the Torx C10 screwdriver and let's just get this Yeah, there we go. So now we can put the guitar together and uh, yeah, so it's uh, yeah, super. <laughs> Super light presses, like it's crazy. You barely need to press it. So yeah, um, I'll have a link in the description to my Tradera shop. Uh, I have worldwide shipping, so wherever you are in the world, just go ahead if you need like, if your original is broken and you need to get, you know, uh, a new pair of, uh, yeah, like a new silicone fret pads then yeah i'll have a link in the description it's pretty cheap uh they're like what 13 bucks and like 16 or 17 bucks um so the pre-modded ones is like 17 and these are like 13 14 bucks um i don't know the conversion exactly from swedish but it's about about there uh it's better than buying a 60 buck guitar and just hoping that it's not gonna have like or that it's gonna have like a good Pair of silicone. I've made that mistake many times uh, where I just bought a <laughs> used guitar and then it was a shitty silicone and I had to spend another 50 or 40 or sometimes 60 bucks and twice in a row it's happened twice in a row where it's like oh fuck twice in a row shitty silicone um, so yeah so if you need silicone uh, yeah, I have them for cheap, so. Uh, thank you for watching, I guess. Uh, I will see you in another video. Peace.